everyone. My name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video, we are going to be making four DIY gifts for the holiday season. Now, whether you celebrate Hanukkah or Christmas or something else, or just want some winter gifts to give to some of your friends or family members, this video is for you. These gifts are going to be things that people will actually use and enjoy. And I think they're a little bit unique and creative. So if you guys are ready to see the gifts and how I made them, then let's Let's jump right into the video. The first gift we're starting with today is a DIY winter or Christmas stovetop simmer pot. Now this is a potpourri recipe. There's so many different ways you can make this. And if you watched my fall clean and decorate with me video, you saw that I did this in that video and I made a fall themed blend but I'm gonna try and make some more winter and holiday themed blends today. So I'm starting by slicing up some apples, oranges, and lemon slices, and I'm going to slice them as thin as I can. I actually just got a mandolin after recording this video, so if you have like a deli slicer or a mandolin or something like that where you can slice things nice and thin, that would be much easier than a knife. But if you don't have that, a knife works just fine as well. So again, I'm slicing everything really thin and I'm gonna set the oven to 150 and stick those slices in there for at least six hours. Halfway through, you're gonna wanna flip them and you might flip them multiple times and just kind of watch them as they dry out. Making plans, what we're gonna do, I feel so... I didn't want to cut my fingers with some of those smaller pieces, so I decided to add them to a pot of boiling water and actually just make some for myself. So if you have leftovers, that's definitely something you can do and really get in the holiday spirit and make your home smell nice as well. So you'll see about halfway through, I pulled them out and I started flipping them and then I'm sticking them back in the oven. And then while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate. Now when you're making these gifts, the reason that you want to dry them out in the oven is so that they last longer. You could also do this with fresh fruit and just put a whole orange or a whole lemon or whatever it is in a baggie with some of the other spices and not worry about dehydrating them. But if you're going to give these gifts and you want them to last longer or it's gonna be a while before you're giving the gift, dehydrating them is a smart thing to do so you don't give moldy fruit. As long as I spend this day the two blends I'm making today are a citrus pine scent that's gonna have the lemon slices, some pine that I just actually went outside and trimmed it, some cinnamon sticks and whole cloves, and then the other one is going to be a Christmas morning scent and that's dried oranges, apples, cinnamon sticks, star anise, and cloves. And then why we gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire? Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and joy. so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you, with you. With I don't you. need any presents As long as I spend this day with this gift, it's a great idea to add some instructions onto the outside of whatever container you're gonna wrap it in. So I put on the instructions that to make, all you do is pour into a pot of water and simmer on low heat and add more water as needed. So you can actually just keep reusing this and add more water and more water and you can put it back in the fridge overnight. Usually it'll last about three to four days, but you can just keep it going all day long. This next gift is so incredibly easy and we're gonna make some soaps and use cookie cutters. It's gonna be a sheet pan soap. So you really don't need a whole lot of extra supplies beyond the soap. So I'm starting by dividing it up into microwave safe containers and just microwaving it in small increments. Start with about 30 seconds and then keep going at 10 or 15 second intervals, stirring in between until you get it to a nice melted consistency. Once the soap is melted, you're gonna to wanna to add in your preferred fragrance and scent. I'm going to do a peppermint candy cane one and I want it to be swirled, so I'm adding red to one color, 
and just leaving the other one white and then adding my peppermint essential oil. I'm pouring the two in at the same time and just kind of making a swirling motion. If you have a wooden stick or a chopstick or something like that, you can kind of swirl those two colors together. And then to make sure you don't have any bubbles on the surface, you're going to put some alcohol into a spray bottle and just kind of spray around to pop all of those bubbles so you have a nice smooth surface. The next one I'm gonna make is gingerbread men. So I actually have some gingerbread essential oil, so it's perfect. I didn't have brown food coloring, so it really took me a while to get this color perfected. I for sure had to Google how to make brown when you only have certain colors. And finally I got it to work out. I think it turned out a decent color. Probably would have been better if I had brown coloring, but that's okay. I'm gonna pour that one in the container and then do the same thing with the alcohol and set them aside to harden completely. All the happy smiles and the wishes and I want it all from the lights to the mist. So Once they're hardened, you can run a butter knife around the edges, but they should pop out pretty easily. And then you just take your cookie cutter and cut out all the different shapes that you want. And that's it. It's so easy. Another way to make homemade soaps is to buy a silicone mold. So you can definitely find some really fun holiday ones, especially on Amazon or Michael's, places like that. You're sure to find something but I just thought this was so much easier. Most people have a baking dish of some sort. You can use a cookie sheet and most people have cookie cutters already. So this one, you don't need a ton of supplies, which is really nice. I'm actually pretty happy with how that brown color turned out. I think it looks like a nice gingerbread color and these soaps smell so good. That gingerbread essential oil scent, I can just smell it as I'm cutting out these gingerbread men and it smells great. The one thing I would have done differently if I make these again is I would have made it a little bit thicker. I wish I had more soap. They're pretty thin, but that's okay. If I wanna give multiple of these to my friends, then I can throw a few of them in there and they can make a cute little arrangement, maybe like in a guest bathroom. I think these would be adorable for the holidays, but I would have made them a little bit thicker if I'm gonna do it a second time. I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. And then you just wrap them up however you want. I have these little organza bags that work just fine. Around this time of year, you'll find treat bags that are festive and holiday themed. That would be perfect as well. This Christmas, I only wanna be This next one is even easier than the last one, and it's gonna be a DIY essential oil room spray. You can get creative with the different essential oils you put in here, but I like to start with four ounce spray bottles. I add about a tablespoon of witch hazel, and then you fill the rest up with distilled water, and you're going to put in approximately 30 drops of essential oil. It really depends on how strong you want the scent to be. I'm doing one that's that gingerbread scent again, and then I'm doing one that's peppermint, cinnamon, and orange. Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you 
shake them up nice and good and then I added a little label on the outside that says room spray and they're ready to go. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. This last one's super fun but it is a little bit more complicated and it's salted caramel hot chocolate mix. Is it ever since July? I've been happier than I I'm starting with two and a half cups of granulated sugar that's just in a large pan over medium heat. You don't actually need to stir it, you just need to pick it up and kind of move it around and tilt it as it starts to melt. Once it's completely melted, you're gonna wanna take it off of the stove top and add three tablespoons of vanilla extract and make sure you whisk it in quickly because there's a little bit of a reaction once you add that vanilla extract in and pour it onto a rimmed baking sheet with parchment paper and let it sit to harden and cool completely. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. After about an hour, when it's completely hardened, you're going to pull out your food processor and pulverize it. Just keep adding them in one at a time as the food processor is running and you'll see that there's a cloud of caramel dust that's coming out of there that's perfectly normal and totally fine, but it's just what happens when it's blending all of that together. Once it's all done, take the top off and add in one and a half cups of really good quality Dutch cocoa powder if you have it. If you don't, you can add in some other cocoa powder. I just know the flavor won't quite be as nice as it will be if you have that high quality cocoa powder. Add three fourths of a cup of light brown sugar and one cup of dry milk powder. Blend it back up and then you're going to add in 10 ounces of good quality bittersweet chocolate or chocolate chips and I have some chocolate chips. So we're gonna add those in and blend it once more. Please, but this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Christmas memories, oh, and I've been long to hold you close, forget about everyone else, isn't this how it's supposed to be, making our Christmas memories. Here comes the fun part. You may have seen this idea before. I found it on Pinterest and just loved it. So I'm using piping bags to fill them with hot chocolate, topping it with some mini marshmallows, and then using brown pipe cleaners to turn it into a little reindeer. So I'm just wrapping those pipe cleaners around a pen so they're curly and pulling out googly eyes and red pom-poms to add eyeballs and a red puffy nose. And when we wake up in the morning, Play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh I had multiple types of googly eyes. I had some really big ones and then I had some with eyelashes. So I made some girl reindeer and some boy reindeer, but they all turned out really cute. So you can play around with the size of the pom-poms and the different types of googly eyes and they all look really fun together. You, mm, just you 
For this recipe, if you want to add instructions to it as well, which I definitely recommend so your friends or family members know exactly what the ratio should be, for this one, they're going to want to add three tablespoons of mix to one cup of hot milk for that perfect cup of salted caramel hot chocolate mix. Thanks so much for joining me today. I have all of my DIY gifts behind me. They turned out great. If you guys try any of these, make sure to take a photo and tag me at Sophisticated Organization. I would love to see other people trying these gifts. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and until next time, I will see you guys later.